A lot of us are now familiar with the term Fourth Industrial Revolution or have seen the acronym 4IR or some reference to Industry 4.0. Well, I'm here to assure you that those mean exactly the same thing. Admittedly, these terms and concepts could be quite intimidating to the ordinary person, especially the small and medium enterprise owners in the informal sector. But inversely, if we look past the complexity of the terms, the opportunities that come with 4IR technologies are immense. These opportunities include providing valuable tools or assistance for employees to increase their productivity and facilitate their decision-making, boosting business competitiveness, increasing revenue, while also reducing production costs from adopting digitization. Similarly, there are disadvantages that perhaps have slowed down the inception of 4IR technology in many SMEs, especially in the informal sector. To a lay person, the complexities of digitization, automation and the likes may seem inconsequential to their businesses. Take for example Masabe who sells food at the side of the road, or a taxi operator whose focus is to pick up and drop off passengers, and lastly, a street vendor who spends their days selling this and that to feed their children. The barriers to adopting this technology are often the same across most SMEs. High costs, no time for training and a lack of experience. In turn, this has led to a lag in growth, assimilating to newer, more improved service delivery, which in the long term could lead to some businesses being obsolete, overtaken by those who've kept up with modern technologies of efficiency. In our discussion this evening, we aim to help you have a strong understanding of what exactly 4IR technologies are and how you can access them in a way that makes sense to your business. The world of, of 4IR and the technologies under it is so broad. I think one would have to first think in which aspect. Am I talking the aspect of big data? Am I talking the aspect of augmented intelligence? Am I talking the aspect of robotics? Am I talking in, in industry? So from a financial technologies perspective, perspective, FinTech has its own broad set of technologies that have been introduced by way of 4IR. The health industry, also a very set of different rules and technologies that have come um, into play under 4IR. Well, that might be sounding a bit sophisticated um, because ultimately we want um, you know, solutions that can be integrated into small, medium enterprises in a way that would make sense for them. So how would you say these solutions can benefit you know, your Masabe, Kakotzilin, Kahale, um, you know, the taxi driver or the everyday general deal owner? I think... What is important for us to make note of is more than we can ever imagine. A lot of small business are actually participating in the fourth industrial revolution. Maybe not to the scale of huge conglomerates, but even in the smaller sense. I'll give you an example. For an instance, an, a, 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 a a vendor who's willing to take a mobile payment by ways of maybe e-wallet or, or pay to sell instead of having an actual transaction happen at the ATM or with a bank teller is actually participating in the fourth industrial revolution because those are elements of fintech, right? The coming together of human transactions with technology. To give you an example, General Dilay Akohai can also participate in the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, the owner of the general dealer can find ways to optimize their business, harvesting the information that they already have about their customers, what they usually buy and when they usually buy it. Storing that information, putting it into a very simple Excel sheet would be able to show um, that, that owner of that business the trends in their business and later if they're to scale up, if they get to, able to get to the point where they can upskill those technologies and, and bring in more um, sophistication, you'll be able to get into predictive insights. Another element that we can bring into it is an app where all general dealers say in a locality are able to come together, invest in it so that it's not a solidified expense that is facing one person or one business owner, small business owner. And every general dealer knows that they can access 
um, their customers who can make um, orders by way of the mobile technology, make a payment by way of e-wallet or pay to sell to the general dealer. And later on, the delivery will be processed through that, right? Mm -hmm. So those are ways that very small and incremental. The important part is to make sure that small businesses have an approach of being incremental rather than a full on, we're turning everything around. We want to go from point mm -hmm. zero to 180 degrees. But leveraging the ability to take on small increases in technology and sophistication will get every business to the point where they're running off the merits of the fourth industrial revolution. I mean, we speak all well and good about the fourth industrial revolution, but one of the downsides of integrating these technologies and solutions has been, you know, the cost attached to it. So how do you think this deterrent can be addressed? What I would like to stress more than anything is every business, even though they're not making the large and hugely significant margins to be able to make investments into technology, digital technology that will enhance their participation in the 4IR, is to really harness and take advantage of the power of, the power of collaboration and working together. So with the example I just referenced of general dealers in a particular locality, um, one owner of a general dealer might not have the financial capacity to build an app that will take in um, all of their orders and process that, that information in a way that is meaningful and profitable for the business. However, if more than one, a group of general dealer owners were able to come together and put together that financial investment, I think that will go a long way in making sure that every business at the end of the day realizes some form of growth, some form of improvement on account of adopting digitalization and technology. So collaboration is a very important aspect of making sure that the cost is reduced for all business owners, but they're still able to tap into what is available in the world of technology in the world of fourth industrial revolution. Another element that's very, very crucial is a uh, culture aspect. So culture is not necessarily only relevant to the big conglomerates with many departments, many units, many bosses, many leaders and junior and senior management. I think culture is also has to do with the mindset of business owners. The most important thing as they say, I don't know who said this, but culture eats strategy for breakfast, is to make sure that small business owners, whether informal, whether formalized, whether banked, non-banked, whether a size of medium-sized corporation or a micro, minuscule organization, is to make sure that the owner and the people therein, within that company, within that business, have the mindset for fourth industrial revolution. This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?